Welcome and thank you for watching the video. Before we get into it, please make sure you take a second to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and if you have something nice to say, please leave a comment. Now let's get into it. For you, talk about uh, since coming out of jail, you talk about the struggles. We talk about those daily struggles, on, especially you have a big name and, you know, people can look you up and they can, they can literally watch a whole documentary about right. everything that happened. Uh, you know, what really has that experience been like? And, you know, finding a new job, making money, doing things legitimately, being, you know, always on a short leash, you know, because you do one thing, you're back, you're right oh, back yeah. in there. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, so, so overall, it's, 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 an, it's a nerve wracking feeling. And I don't know. Uh, so when I say I don't know how people do it because I know how I did it and it wasn't easy. Uh, and I had a decent start, right? Because mm -hmm. a lot of guys come home and their parents have already, if they, ha if they, ha if they have a set of parents like that are still there or if they're still in touch, you know, some people have their, their aunt or their uncle and because their parents are either dead or in prison or just not, they burnt that bridge mm -hmm. so much that the people don't, can't do much more for them. And, you know, listen, everybody has to be take responsibility for their own actions. So part of this, the whole process of coming home from doing time is one, you have to recognize what you did wrong and make some changes in that behavior. And two, you have to become a trusted person again in order for people to trust you. So you have to earn that trust back. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a long, difficult process. For me, for, for my desire would be that it wouldn't be so long and difficult because if it were not, so difficult, then people would be have much more chance of being successful when they got out. For example, when I was in prison, I wanted to learn HVAC. Don't ask me specifically why. I mean, I just thought it was a good career. Uh, you know, did I have a great big passion to learn about air conditioning? Not really, okay? But I thought that that would be a trade skill that I could do and that it wouldn't be that difficult, let's say. But it's more an intelligent and lightly physically skilled thing that because I didn't, didn't want to be climbing buildings and knocking walls down my whole life. So when I applied to, to get into that program, it was difficult in prison to even get into it because mm. there was like a waiting list for that. And then, then to actually get certified, you wouldn't actually get certified. So you'd have to come out and do the courses all over again. So it wasn't this process of, prison to work mm. that I would want for people. Like, like if, I, if I went from prison and, and into an apprenticeship role somewhere where I was getting some decent money to, 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 to hands-on learn or show my skill level to a trained technician, then I could see you can move more quickly. I mean, when you're 40 something years old, right. you can't make $9 an hour for very long and, 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 and be, a, be, be a responsible, father again maybe a relationship whether it be a, you know your 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 wife comes back in your life or a new girlfriend a car owner or apartment rent payer or, or homeowner all those things are the dreams that you have but when you started out at nine dollars an hour and you just came home from prison life was easier in prison right life was easier in prison now don't get me wrong you love the freedom but it's scary and right. it's and it's a little it's a, it's just uncomfortable it's an uncomfortable adjustment did you think a lot when, during your time in prison about what you would do when you get out? I mean, was it all, was it, I mean, it's nerve wracking in a sense. To... Right. Well, yeah, I, yeah. So that goes back to one of my insecurities is earning and financial, right. you know. So when I got, so one of the funny stories, and you may, I think you may have said it on another podcast, you may have heard it, was I didn't even know how to order a hot dog. Right. Like, I went to a hot dog stand, and my brother says, get what you want. I'm like, I, I didn't even know how to say it because in prison you just walked up and they handed you your, whatever your shit was there and you right. just walked away and you didn't have to reach in your pocket, pocket and pay for anything. And I didn't even know how to order it. So I, I just I wanted a hot dog with sauerkraut or some shit. I don't even know what I wanted. I said, you order it for me. Like, like those, and that was a realization of how far off that I was. And, you know, I'm a social guy. I'm gregarious. I'm pretty easy to get along with, I think. Maybe you're yeah. annoying at times if I'm living with you. But the reality is that that it was, it, was, it was a fearful moment. And I, I remember one time uh, wanting to go back to prison, like during this process. I mean, it'd be so much easier if I was just in prison. You know? wow. so, so that's, you know, that's, that's pretty heavy. A yeah. guy who did over 12 years, you know, who the fuck wants to do another day in prison? Do but, you feel like those 12 years went by quickly or? or oh, looking back, 
they did, but every day was long. The years go quick, the days are long. Mm. You know? Yeah. I mean, the days are just long because you're doing day by day by day. But the when you look back at the years, like, they go relatively quickly, but you know, then you come out. You're 12 years older. Although I think I, I weathered well, you know. Yeah. Overall, <laughs> overall, <laughs> I'm starting to catch up now. The gray's coming, yeah, you know. It's okay. Uh, Not too much gray. A little concerned. <laughs> I shaved, so you didn't see all the gray. <laughs> um, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like this video and hit that subscribe button, and also follow me on Instagram at Felix.Levine to stay updated on all new content as it comes out.